Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning. So today we continue our lecture on chapter 6 simple linear regressions. Okay. This chapter we are cover on variables correlation linear correlation coefficient and then regression line. Okay, actually, this chapter, we want to produce the equation of straight line. You have a set of data. Okay, previously during your primary school, secondary school, okay, we already learned how to produce equation of straight line, which is y equal to mx plus c, right? Okay, so plus C. Okay, I equal to mx plus C. You already learned this. So to get this equation of straight line, you must find first what is value of m, which is gradient. Gradient, you can get this value when you have two points. Okay, so when you have two points, you can find the gradient. In statistics, you have a lot of point, a lot of data. You want to find a straight line. Okay. So we are using y hat equal to a plus b x. Konsepnya sama sahaja. Okay. We want to produce a straight line but by using a data. Okay. So, of course, learning objective, at the end of the lecture, you can explain the concept of correlation. What is correlation all about? After you know the concept of correlations, which is, you can calculate the Pearson correlation coefficient, okay, which is the value of R. Okay, when you can calculate the value of R, what is the value of R means that? Okay, you can interpret. Value of R can be in terms of negative 1 until 1. R can be in this value. No, no, less than. This one is less than. Okay. This is not, jangan confuse between uh, relation coefficient with probability. Probability start from 0 until 1. Relation coefficient start with negative 1 until 1, not more than that. And then you can determine the regression equation and interpret the parameter. The regression equation, which is the equation of the straight line. Okay, first one, variables. In order to uh, find uh, the square regression line, you need to know the variables. Okay, we have two variables. The first one is dependent variable, or sometimes we call it as control variable, or sometimes we call it as explanatory variable. What is independent variable? Dependent variable is the variables that is manipulated or control in a study or experiment to test the effect of the another variable, which is dependent. So in the equations, Okay, independent variable, dia tak akan depend kepada siapa-siapa. Dia diri dia sendiri, so this one is a value of x. Okay, kalau awak draw plot data, kalau awak nak plot scatter diagram nanti, so this one is value of x for independent variable. And then, the second one is dependent variable. What is dependent variable? Dependent variable is a measure, variable measure tested in the study of experiment yang awak nak kira okay and the dependent variable usually represent by y sebab tu kita letak kat depan sebab kita nak kira what is the value of y eh okay? it is the object okay so you need to understand and then you can uh, justify and differentiate which one is independent which one is dependent because in the question they're not given to you. Which one is dependent? Which one is independent? You sendiri by your own, you can identify. Data yang diberi, 
which data represent independent, which data represent dependent by referring logic of the question. Kena fikir logik benda ni. Okay. Nanti kita akan tengok example. Okay. Correlation. What is a correlation? Correlation is the relationship between two verbal. Okay. You want to find the relationship between two verbal which is independent and dependent. Okay. In order to find the relationship this one. Sometimes, okay, we have the positive correlation. When you have positive correlation, when you draw a scatter diagram. Bila awak draw scatter diagram, awak akan dapat menaik macam ni. Okay, so this one we call it as perfect positive correlation. Apa perfect positive? Semua duduk atas straight line. Bila semua duduk atas straight line menaik macam tu, we call it as perfect positive a correlation. And then, if you draw straight line, yen, then you get macam tu, turun ke bawah. Okay, atas straight line. Semua value you atas satu straight line, so that one we call it as perfect negative correlation. Okay, perfect positive or perfect negative, usually when you calculate the value of R, this one equal to 1. Okay, and then the perfect negative R equal to negative 1. Okay, untuk dapat perfect positive or perfect negative, when you calculate value of R, relation coefficient, awak akan dapat negative 1 ataupun 1. Okay, so baru dia akan dapat perfect. Usually susah nak dapat perfect ni. Okay, okay. and then positive correlation. This one, positive correlation, dia menaik tapi bila kita draw straight line, dia tidak duduk atas satu straight line, data tu. Tapi dia menaik. So, that one we call it as positive correlation. Okay, the second one, dia menurun tapi tak duduk atas satu straight line. Okay, so this one we call it negative correlation. Usually, yang banyak kita jumpa adalah these two types of correlation. Whether it is positive correlation or negative correlation. Somehow, we also can get the no correlation. No correlation ni tak boleh nak buat straight line langsung. Okay? So, bila tak boleh nak buat straight line, data awak bersepah. So, that one we call it as no correlation. Also, you can get in terms of curve. When you get in terms of curve, how you want to produce a straight line. Sebab so, ni pun nama linear regression. Linear-linear is a straight line. So, this one is no correlation. No correlation, usually, when you calculate the value of R, you can get approximately zero. The value of R. Bila awak calculate value of R, you can get approximately zero. So, that one we can know that it is no correlation. So, it is very important for you to calculate value of R. Tak kira lah soalan tu ditanya ke, bila awak nak buat projek nanti ke, when you collect a data, you want to identify whether your data is strong or not. So, when you have a data, you want to find whether your data is strong or not, you need to calculate value of R, relation coefficient. So, bila awak dapat value of R, baru awak boleh tahu relationship between X axis and Y axis, independent and dependent, whether it is strong, weak or very weak. Nanti kita akan tengok range berapa value of R tu yang akan memberi strong, weak or very weak. Okay? Or very strong. Depend on the situation lah. Okay. Um, so far, types of correlation. Okay, any problem? Okay, next. Looks on the example. Okay. Researcher conduct a study on a performance efficiency of a machine, an electronic company, based on the usage duration for every machine. 
Result are show in the table below. Construct a scatter plot. So you want to sketch plot a graph and identify independent and dependent variable. State the types of relationship whether you want to um, uh, put to dia punya positive relation or negative or no correlation. Okay. So when it's given this question, first of all you need to identify what is dependent is dependent by referring to this data so you have usage duration in years and efficiency of machine okay kalau awak tengok sini pun kita dah boleh tahu okay bergantungan efficiency of machine is depends on the usage duration okay? so in this case the usage duration is your x which is independent and then efficiency of machine is your y okay mestilah efficient tu akan bergantung dengan tahun tahun akan sentiasa bertambah dia tak akan depend kepada siapa-siapa pun dia adalah independent okay? so in this case usage duration in years is your independent then efficiency of machine is a dependent So, bila awak tahu yang mana satu independent, yang mana satu dependent, baru you boleh buat kereta diagram, which is what is your part C X, what is your part C Y. Okay, kalau awak tak tahu yang tu, macam mana awak nak draw a kereta plot. It's very important. Okay? So, when you draw a kereta plot, you can get this value. Whereby your X is usage duration and your Y is efficiency machine so when you draw a scatter plot we can see that your straight line goes down so we can conclude that there is negative correlation <coughs> between usage duration and efficiency of machine okay any problem no oh. Okay, X. Linear correlation coefficient. So now we want to calculate what is your value of R. Okay, what is the value of R? So value of R is linear correlation coefficient. In order to measure the strength and direction of a linear relationship between two variables. Okay. So, when you can calculate the value of R, we can see that the relationship between variable X and variable Y strong or not. Kalau dia yang awak dapat tu weak, maksudnya data awak tak kuat lah. Awak kena cari data baru. If you uh, conduct a research lah, awak buat Uh, project tahun akhir awak nanti ke your PSM, final, final your project nanti. So, bila awak collect data, awak kena test dulu. Data is strong or not. Okay, kalau data awak dapat value awak tu dapat rendah, approximately to zero, awak tak boleh guna data tu. Data awak tak strong. Orang tak akan kita lah. So, awak kena cari data yang strong. At least 0.7 and above. Okay. So, How to calculate value of R? Ha, ni dia punya formula dia lah. R equal to N times by summation of XY which is you darab dulu X dengan Y ni tambah. Darab X dengan Y tambah. Minus summation of X times summation of Y divide by square root of N times by summation of X square minus Summation of x square. Okay. Beza ni dua ni ni. Different. First one, you square first. Then you get the summation. Second one, you summation first. Then you do a square. Ni. Second one ni adalah ambil yang atas ni. Summation of x kuasa 2. Dia ambil benda yang sama daripada sini. Tapi dia kuasa 2 kan. Okay. Sama juga. Times by square root of in terms of y punya okey 
Kalau awak tengok formula tu kena faham eh. And then kalau awak tengok formula dia pun panjang lah. So of course you need a strong calculator lah. <laughs> Make sure awak kena ada calculator scientific ya. Sebab this week kita akan belajar manual. Clip manual. Next week are using calculator scientific how to generate a value of also by using excel how to generate the value of r dia ada cara mudah dia okay, sebab ni akan ditanya dalam you punya assignment last okey so this one value of r represent by if you get negative 1 as i mentioned before that one is perfect negative linear correlation if you get r less than negative 1 until Negative 0 0.7, that one is strong. Negative linear correlation. If you get negative R, negative 0 0.7 until negative 0 0.3, that one is moderate. Negative linear correlation. If you get negative 0 0.3 until negative 0 0.1, that one is weak. Negative linear correlation. If you get 0, no correlation. Sama juga in terms of positive side. Beza dia tukar positif negatif dia. So you kena ingat lah value-value ni. Bila awak dapat value R 0.8. So that one is strong positive linear correlation. Okay? Boleh faham? Then remember your value R must be between negative 1 until 1 only. Please do not confuse with Hmm, probability by probability is 0 until 1 ok faham so far I'm pretty dog ok ha, ni calculator je ni awak kena tekan je calculator ni kalau awak silap tekan calculator silap lah value awak Silap value awak akan effect for the whole of the question. Okay. Okay, now looks on the example. Group of engineers want to determine a street level at which a wing component on a aircraft will fracture, fracture on a given fracture toughness. Table below show the temperature and impact energy data tested the temperature but stay a lot. Calculate the coefficient of correlation R of the data. Then interpret the result. Okay. So, maksudnya you want to calculate value of R then you want to interpret. Interpret tu tengoklah. You dapat strong positive or strong negative. Very strong, very weak. Depending on the value of R you lah. So, first of all, you need to identify what is the value of X what is the value of y? What is independent, which is value of x? What is dependent value of y? So, kalau awak tengok, between temperature and energy, mana yang bergantung dengan mana? So, of course, in this case, impact energy depends to the temperature. Okay, so, temperature is your x, the energy is your y. Okay. And you know which one is X, which one is Y. So, awak kena tekan calculator lah kira. Uh, calculator tekan calculator panjang sikit ni. Okay, submission of X, you buat table. Okay, submission of X, submission of Y. Okay. So, bila awak dah dapat jawapan tu, list down kan. What is your submission of XY? So, you can get negative value, negative 11879 summation of y square 627y3.89 summation of x negative 600 summation of y 74.7 summation of x square equal to 117700 and equal to 15 okay. awak dah dapat all the data that you need in the formula Correlation coefficient. So, you just substitute find value of R. Okay. 
then you get the value of r which is 0 0.9356 so we can see that this is strong positive linear correlation so we can conclude that there is strong positive linear correlation between temperature and impact energy as the temperature of component increase impact energy also increase but awak dapat positif ni sebab tu dia akan jadi temperature increase energy also increase so you get value of r is negative si awak dapat r ni negative dapat r negatif dia akan jadi terbalik the temperature of component increase impact energy will be decrease Okay, if your value of R negatif. Sebab bila awak negatif, dia akan menurun macam tu graf. Okay, in this case, your R is positif. Bila R you positif, dia graf dia akan jadi naik macam tu. Okay, any problem? Sebab dia case ni yang jadi lambat sikit, awak kena tekan calculator tu, be careful lah sikit. Sebab dia data banyak kan. Awak silap tekan calculator, Tukar satu Kombo je Fat habis So be careful In Calculate Press your calculator Macam mana nak bezakan Depend Independent ha, Tu awak kena fikir logik lah Kena fikir logik Yang mana satu bergantung daripada Mana satu Kalau awak tengok in this case kan Awak fikir logik Antara temperature dengan impact energy. Mana satu bergantung dengan mana? Sebab temperature tak akan bergantung kepada siapa-siapa. Tapi impact energy ni tak akan bergantung kepada temperature. Okay. Mesti awak sendiri yang fikir logiknya macam mana. Okay. Biasanya suhu tak akan bergantung kepada orang lain. Dia biasa akan terjadi pada X. Tahun, tahun meningkat pun tak akan bergantung dengan orang lain. Okay. Tapi kalau awak dah rasa blur sangat, tahu nak fikir yang mana satu, which one is X, which one is Y. Okay. Biasanya kita akan tulis X dulu, Y. Itu biasanya. Okay. Di atas bawah ni, you always write X first and then baru Y. Kalau awak betul-betul dah tak boleh nak bezakan lah tu. Okay. Tu ke tu. Okay. Tapi make sure you need to understand. Okay. Awak kena fikir logik. Which one is X, which one is Y. Kalau awak dah selalu buat soalan, nak awak boleh nampak mana satu X, mana satu Y. Okay. Okay. X, least square regression line. What is least square regression line? Okay. Least square regression line, we want to find a straight line. Okay. Kalau dalam mathematics, we, find, we want to find y equal to a plus bx. Okay. So, we can get a straight line. Okay. So, now, statistic, we are not using y equal to a. We are using y hat. Okay. Dia ada topi kat atas tu. I had equal to a plus bx. How to get the value of b and a? Okay. Yes, dia bagi. Dia tak bagi table tu macam mana awak nak kira? Sebab dia memang akan bagi data. Kali banyak-banyak. Ah N14. Tapi dalam modul awak tulis 15 kan? Ha, dia 14. Okay. B. You need to calculate the value of B first. Okay. Kalau awak calculate value of B. So you can get value of A. How to find value of B? B equal to N by summation of xy minus 
summation of x times by summation y. Divide by n times by summation of x square minus summation of x square. Ni pun sama juga. Awak akan guna data yang tadi. Okay. Data yang awak cari x tadi. That's why bila awak nak cari tu, data tu penting. Okay. Yang awak calculate tu. Summation of xy apa, summation of x. Sebab ni, data ni awak akan guna sampai habis. Terus sekali awak salah ke atas, automatically awak akan salah habis bawah. So make sure, press your calculator carefully. Dengan main tekannya. If you wrong, one digit only pun akan effect. Okay, so make sure, press your calculator carefully and then find the value of B. After you get value of B, You can find value of A, whereby A equal to summation of Y divided by N minus B times by summation of X divided by N. So, if you don't want to using this one, A also you can get by mean Y bar of Y okay, minus B times mean of x sama juga awak kena dapat value b juga okey sama je konsepnya okey okey so you can get value of a and b after you get value a and b of course you need to interpret okay to interpret value of a Interpret value of A. Awak hafal je ayat ni. As change at the bracket one. Okay. Variable X. Variable Y. Value A. Okay. So when there is no value of variable X. Kalau case tadi temperature lah. When there is no value of temperature. Then the value of energy efficiency is what? Value AU. So, same thing when you to interpret B. Every one unit increase in variable X. Awak tukarlah variable X you apa. So, let's say temperature will increase value of efficiency energy I. Masukkan value B you apa. Tukar tempat tu je. Tiga tempat tu you kena tukar. Okay. Okay. Sure ayat ni awak kena ingat ah. So, you just change at the variable X, variable Y, or value A, interpret A. Interpret B, you change at the variable X, variable Y, and value B. Okay? Okay. Next, looks on the example. Investigator of a factory were, was asked, Investigate the factors that cause the breaking strength. Two factors that influence the breaking strength of a synthetic fiber are being studied. One of it is the age of machine. If affected the performance of productivity, a sample of a machine was took in holding the investigation. The result of the investigation is recorded as follows. Kalau awak tengok macam ni Between age of machine And breaking of synthetic fiber Mana satu X Yang mana satu Y Kena fikir So in this case Of course lah Age of machine is X Dia adalah Dependent Age of machine Dia tak akan bergantung kepada apa-apa Dia akan sentiasa naik Machine uh, Masa machine Apa tu apa? <coughs> Machine ni apa ni Tahun mesin tu akan naik. Okay. But breaking of the synthetic fiber is depend on the age of mesin. Makin tua dia mesin tu, makin lah tak bagus. Okay. So this one is Y. Okay. So you need to um, differentiate between X and Y. After you get what is X, what is Y, so you boleh masuk dalam you punya calculator. Tekan, tekan, tekan. So, you can get the summation of X, summation of Y, and so on. Okay. So, X, already know that's independent and dependent variable, which is independent, age of machine, 
pendant breaking synthetic fiber. Okay, and then you put, it, uh, put your calculator, press your calculator, so you can get summation of x y equal to four four six, summation of y square equal to two one zero two nine. Summation of x equal to 55, summation of y1471 until you can get value of B and A. So value of B is 4.3091, value of A 123.40. Okay. After you get these two values, so we can find that your least square regression line, which is y hat equal to 123.40 plus 4.3091 okay. Okay. okay after you get the value the least square regression line now you need to interpret what is meaning of 123.4 and meaning of 4.3091 so, yang ni kalau awak dapat positif, maksudnya dia, dia straight naik ke atas. So, we can interpret that. Interpret for A. When there is no value of each machine, then the value of breaking of synthetic fiber is 123.40. You want to interpret A. And you want to interpret B. Every one unit increase in Age of machine, which is your variable x, will increase the value of breaking synthetic variable y by 4.091. Okay, so after that, finish. Thank you. Any problem? No.